so he was 67 years old. So he lived a good long life, even though he was a minor. He got hurt up at the Lexington. What happened? He was going down the cage, and there was a, a starter steel. Must have been on a wall plate someplace, and it got let loose and fell, and it came in the cage. And you know what a starter steel is, it's about that long. And it hit him in the ribs, and Jesus, it broke everything. And that, that's what killed him. Oh, he was mining when he died? Well, he was just a ship was up there at that time. So he was killed in the mine? Well, yes, he didn't die then. He went to the hospital and died in Murray Hospital. Jeez. He was in there a long time. I mean, the kidneys and everything was all busted up. Yeah. Do you remember that pretty well? Oh, you bet your life. Where were you in that house? I was over there in, in Fort Lewis. I was in the inactive reserve, and I got called back in again. For Korea? No, that wasn't for Korea. Berlin? Well, it must have been for part of for Korea, because I got a, when they gave you money for being in, I got some money for that. And I, that's where I was anyway. I came home for his, for his dying. I wasn't very happy about that. Mike Mansfield is the guy that got me out of it. Now, you're an army man and you know what I'm talking about. Yeah. I was with the self-propelled artillery, 155s. They were shooting out there. Yakima, that was the firing range. When I left there to come home, I'd have gone to my father. And I bumped into Mike Mansfield, and I knew him. I knew him well enough that he called me by name. He said to me, he was sitting in one of the big chairs in the KC. He said, how are you, Clint? I said, I'm no goddamn good. He said, what's the matter? What's the matter? Sit down here. So I sat down next to him and I said, he said, what's the trouble with, what's, what's bothering you? So I told him what's bothering me. That goddamn inactive reserve, whatever that meant. I, I must have been nuts when I signed that up. I went back, I went back and by that time they'd gone from Yakima back to Fort Lewis. So, they called me in the orderly room, and they said they want you over to battalion headquarters. I said, all right. So I went over to battalion headquarters, and they said, where's your service record? I said, hell, I don't know. I never saw my service record in my life. I don't know where it is. Well, we got to get it. We got to get it. We got. We got a communication from Washington, D.C., from Senator Mike Mansfield, and he wants a copy of your uh, papers. Well, I said, you're out of luck. I don't know where they are. <laughs> so that, that led from one thing to another. But anyhow, I never heard no more from them guys, but I heard from Mike. 